Hi YouTube, it's Brian Phillips there again. Without further ado. Flaps. You'll notice that I set the main flap down. Didn't really mean to do it, it just worked out that way. There's four hinges on this, and I left it loose so I can show you. One, two, three, and then there's one in the middle, so this actually articulates two. And it's one goes straight through, and then one goes down, so that I can force the angle between the two flap sections. My hope is that when I'm coming in for a landing, um, not sure if I'm going to leave flap rounds configured and, and operate these as an inboard aileron. You can imagine the flap rounds pulled down like this. And then this thing is going to be down. And you see how they operate together no matter which, which one I do. But they're actually operating separately. In terms of like their movement is a little bit different. The geometry is different. And see I can even... I can even create a reverse thrust situation. Because look where the, the ducted fan is pointed. It's pointed right there. So I could reverse the thrust to a certain degree with this. And what I might do is I might like, I might make a flap setting neutral. And you notice it's down like that. That's because I want to create extra lift all the time. The other thing is this gap here, you're probably thinking, what the heck, why did you make a gap? Well. First of all, I can push this in tight. I haven't glued the hinges here yet. I want to let everything set uh, and dry properly, the, the paint and everything. But on the real on the real airplane, the spoilers actually bridge this gap. And so that's what I'm gonna do. And the flaps also shoot out straight out and then they come down quite a bit. So in real, for all practical purposes, this would be sliding out and then going down. But it's just too hard to do that on a size uh, vehicle this size. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these things have an exaggerated effect if I want for air braking um, or probably more like ground braking once I'm on the ground. But when I come in for a landing this will be this will be my takeoff and then this will be my landing setting and then I'll make like an extra switch to do a no crap setting or reverse thrust setting you know. And so it's just going to multiply the effects of the, the flaps. It's going to be so cool. I can't wait can't wait to see how it works um, and uh, obviously the same thing over here and by the way guys one of the hardest things about doing these flaps is trying to keep everything consistent and you can see it I'm not gonna sit here and say that that this is all perfect if you see an extreme close-up of it it's it's a little bit rough because the way that the the knife heats and cools or heats and cuts but I mean, precision cutting like that, you just you just can't do that. Um, I mean, look look at the factory hinge. They don't look perfect. And they're a pinch hinge, and a machine does that. So sometimes I think I can make it perfect, and it's just probably an unreasonable expectation. So anyway, I can't wait to get these things set up. Um, I still have to work out. Oh, and then awesome gear door. I still have to work out at some point I'd like to do some slats and my plan is to actually cover the wing with a uh, plastic and then take and um, put toilet paper or some sort of a fabric reinforcement and then CA and make one solid piece that actually wraps and then I'll probably relieve this spot and then I'll allow it to slide down. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to do that or if I'm just going to tape on like what I had before. I mean, I'm pretty sure what I had before worked, but I just, I ended up pulling off the tape and it damaged the finish, and so I've got these touch-up spots here, and it's it's hard to see, but the decal got pulled up, which really ticks me off, so 